Well, they don't tell us which ball stud to use. Uh, excuse me, which location. Let me show you what I mean. This is where our camber link inner, po inner mounting point goes and they don't give us a location. They just uh, say long ball stud and they point. <laughs> Not very helpful. Too bad. Okay, well, I'll figure that out later. For now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, mount this in place. Right there. And there are two screws that go in there, so... I'm going to go ahead and use, even though they're a little short, I'm going to use two titanium screws through here, and then I'm going to put a pair of titanium screws through the side panel, and that should, uh, that should tighten it down nicely. And these are going to just keep falling out, so I'm going to pull them. Unfortunately, the... I have to keep an eye on the bearings, make sure they don't fall out every few seconds. Actually, I do have some more of the long ones. That's not very tight. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the steel ones. These, the holes are just too big here on this panel. They're not biting. It's unfortunate. This hole works fine. That one, not so. Okay, what do I need here? Half inch. Using a pair of 10 millimeters. M3, M4s, excuse, M3s, excuse me. Turnbuckles, so let's move onward. Set those aside for right now, may not need them. Okay, a three A's.
these are our rear body posts and we want the pins going left to right It's not the strongest setup. I might try to put a little bead of epoxy around those to make sure they stay put. Got three possible upper shock mounts for the rear and the uh, lower outer is the initial point. Do the same setup I've got going up front. up changing this spacer size but for now I'm just kind of eyeballing what I need They're asking for four five sixteenths, which is a pretty short screw. Um, I'm going to go with something a little bit longer. And since I'm using titanium, it doesn't matter. The weight's not a factor. I could even use aluminum. But I figure the fact that I'm using titanium is in your face enough that I am lightening the vehicle from stock. this this is one of the things that irritated me when I built the original car is that they had you put this on after you'd already screwed the plastic bulkhead into place when I built this the gold pan 40 years ago or more, probably more. Um, I didn't have these nice tools. I had L wrenches. You try putting this thing onto this plastic thing when it's already attached to the pan with an L wrench. What a pain in the neck. It's bad enough that it's in here
with good tools. It would have been a lot easier to put this on when it was off the car. I don't know why they still have the directions in that order. It would be so much easier to fully assemble the bulkhead with the shock tower and then mount it in the car. There's no reason to do this after the fact. I'd be willing to bet those directions are a word-for-word -word reprint of the originals. is solid and going nowhere nice and stiff there shouldn't be there's almost no flex and what flex there is is coming from the plastic not from the fiberglass okay onward shock absorbers And I'm waiting on some special shot grease and lube. So I will do these tomorrow. Let's go ahead and move on. To transmission. I'm also waiting on some diff grease. parts tree anyway and I'll put it in the parts box let's go ahead and do the uh, battery mount See if this will fit. It's a piece of a twisty tie. Yes. Did 
just want to keep the bearings and the uh, axle stub in place along with the little washer. I've got to switch these. I've got them pointing in the wrong direction or I've got the arms on the wrong side. Easy fix. So. Hmm. Now I can't build the transmission until I get those the grease and whatnot in. So, Okay, this is one of those things where uh, it's a special bolt and it's a, um, it's just one of those associated things. Uh, it's not metric. These are a special uh, bolt. It's got a, a hole drilled through it so that you can put a body pin through it like that. And to tighten them in, you need a special wrench. They probably have an L wrench in here somewhere for it. Uh, fortunately, I have these uh, team associated uh, wrench set. Um, the size you need is a 332nd. And there's two of them, one for the left, one for the right. Well, I think that's it. I'm just going to work on bot painting the body tonight because uh, that's all I can do until other stuff comes in and I can work on the turnbuckles, transmission and shocks. Mm -hmm.